actually. <laughs> 64. <laughs> it's um, pretty cheap. <laughs> I haven't ripped uh, all the information for the price tag. Yeah. Um, no, it's, uh, it's doing good. It's doing well. Um, really just using um, using the glove right now just for preventative measures in case it gets hit or something like that. But before spring started, uh, I was throwing without the glove. So, um, you know, uh, what did you notice like it really started to get better? With time off, no, time off, time off. I didn't, I didn't do anything until until about two, months, two months, two months. I was throwing, I was doing anything, but then finally, finally got better. Um, you know, it's, it's been well. Now, last year you said you were struggling writing. Uh-huh. At, what point, at what point did you were able to get the pen in your hand and start writing? Uh, after we got back from Christmas. <laughs> and I started typing again, too. So, okay. Yeah, I'm fine. So, so basic skills. Do you when you grip a football or, or not? Um, it doesn't have all the feeling in it. But, uh, but, like I said, everything's no pain, no anything. So, I'm good to go. What, uh, I guess, what things do you feel like you need to improve on this spring? Everything. You know, improve, improve, you know, compete with yourself every day and make yourself better. You know, whether it's still work or, or time with the receivers, you know, being able to go through all my reads, pre snap and post snap, and um, you know, watching a lot of film, seeing what I did wrong last year. You know, I, I broke down every, every game for me and, you know, really critique myself. And so that's why I want to work on the things that, that, uh, that I need to get better at and then improve on that. What, much, thing, what things did stand out when you were when you were watching the film? Both the, the good and the good yeah, and the bad. Uh, I want to make sure I carry out my face. That's one of the things that really stand out in my mind. Um, you can know, always draw one one more guy out away from who has the ball. Uh, that's always a positive thing. Um, you know, my sense of urgency in the pocket. Um, sometimes I feel like I was a little a little too much too laid back. I'm a laid back person, but sometimes <laughs> I feel like I was I was too relaxed back there. I have a little more sense of urgency. In Quicker release in the ball. And the one thing I read down and down and get the ball out. How much did last season help you develop this play? Help me a lot. Help me a lot. Anytime you play against uh, you know, some of the top teams in the country um, and play in a conference like the Big Ten, you're going to see the best every week. Um, so yeah, that, that really helped me out a lot. And, and you know, Coach Nord and, and uh, Coach Hope were always there for me. You know, always encouraging me and whatnot. So you know, I'm excited about, about this spring. Do you feel like you're behind it all from a throwing standpoint because you've had to let the finger heal? Or? Um, not really. Not really. I feel like I, feel like I probably need that rest for my whole body, not even, not just my fingers. Um, I was, you know, like I said, playing against Ohio State, Michigan State, Michigan, and all the teams in the Big Ten, you get banged up, especially when I ran the ball quite a few times. And that's pretty, I was pretty much the smallest guy on the field against some of those teams. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just let my whole body rest, not just my fingers. Did, did that make you maybe hit, hit some weights a little bit harder, knowing you were maybe the smallest guy in the field, oh, being a little stronger? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, you know, you want to push yourself in the weight room out here when you're, when you're conditioning and you're getting working on speed stuff. Um, any any way you can get bigger and faster, stronger in this conference is, is you know, what, you, what you need to do. How about the competition you got at your position? Mm-hmm. This spring, obviously, Robert's not. Yeah, at 100%. But. Well, we all know what Robert can do. And he's one of the most gifted quarterbacks I've ever seen, personally. And then, you know, getting Caleb back, Caleb worked hard. And, you know, Darren, during his off time, and Caleb, you see, he got bigger and stronger. And he's, he's really throwing the ball well. So, um, you know, but, but we, we're all good friends. And like I said before, um, we're competing against ourselves. Make ourselves better, maximize our potential as, as quarterbacks and as football players. And, you know, if you do that, you can't ask anymore yourself. It's pretty crazy when you think just a few months ago, the position hardly had any experience. And right. now you're in a spring where everybody's got game experience. Exactly. That's what that's the Declan Coach Nord said. Um, you know, from, from what I see, I, I guess you know, that's pretty much what it is. But, but you know, as I, I keep saying to myself and, and as – we want to push ourselves, make ourselves better, critique ourselves, you know, listen to Coach Nord. Coach Nord knows the offense in and out, obviously. And uh, he's, a, he's a very good coach. He'll, he'll get us where we need to be. Uh, you know, you, don't have, you won't have Keith next year, but 
Who are some of the guys maybe that didn't see playing time, injured or redshirted that are in the receiving core that that have maybe stood out in the, in the offseason stuff that well, you're going to be looking to? Yeah, I wish we had OJ you know, the rest of the year. And Tavian stepped up. Um, still, still is looking healthy out there. Um, and the, uh, no Mondo Harris, who came over from defense, yeah. looks good. Um, Charles Terwizzo, uh, Wayne Nell. Wayne Nell looks good. Um, Kurt Lickenberg, he's always you know, a solid player, somebody you can allow him. And um, I think as collectively as a whole, there's not there's not a whole lot of business about the bottom, which is really exciting. So we can roll, roll guys in and out and um, you know, have, have success with us in there. How about some of the newbies at uh, tight end? I mean, Thanks, you take bro. a guy like Kyle Adams out of the next. Right. You know, you're going to be counting on some pretty green players. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gabe, 